Hi, Happy Foodies. I'm here with Helen. This is our new book, Sweet, and we're going to bake a recipe from the book. It's a showstopper of a cake. It's really beautiful. It's blackcurrant and lemon cake. And we're going to start by cooking some mixed berries. I'm just going to pop that on a low heat with some caster sugar. And I'm going to zest some lemon for the sponge. And Helen is separating eight eggs. So I'll just squeeze about a tablespoon of lemon juice straight into these egg yolks. And the sugar goes in as well. There we go. So I'm going to whip the egg yolks with the sugar and lemon juice. Just to get some air into the mix. So with the berries, it's important to keep the heat really low because you don't want to evaporate any of the lovely juices. How is that looking, Helen? Looking good, but I think we want it just a little bit paler. A bit paler. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long does it take? Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just turn it off. Mm -hmm. We'll transfer it into this big bowl. Pop all the zest in. We're going to sift in the flour and salt. And salt. Then it's just a matter of gently folding it in. And you don't need to mix it in too much because you're going to mix it in again once With the egg, egg whites, whites are done. Yeah. So we're kind of getting it to a soft peak stage where the egg white just started whipping and then I'm going to stop or put it on lower speed and it's all nice and airy and I'm going to add that extra bit of sugar. It's not a lot of sugar but it is there just to stabilize the egg white and getting it a bit more volume in. So this is really nice and fluffy now. So I'm going to take about a third of the egg whites just to loosen up the egg yolks. Mm -hmm. And now the rest can come in. Mm -hmm. So another two thirds now. I'm just going to pour that on to the tray. Okay, just sort of spread it out evenly. Get it in the oven. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Great. Does it taste good? Mm, very nice. So should we just get the coolie out of the berries? Yeah, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's every little get drop that in. So yeah. we just want to take 100 mils out of the coulis for the buttercream. So we're going to make the buttercream. So Helen is going to take golden syrup, sugar and vanilla mm -hmm. and turn it into a syrup. We're just going to pop it over low heat just to melt the sugar. It's always better to start on a low heat so that the sugar doesn't crystallize. Get every last bit of the golden syrup out. And I'm going to separate four eggs. While the syrup is bubbling away, I'm going to whip up the egg yolks. Okay, yeah. this looks ready. It's good. Shall yeah. we start pouring it over? Yeah. So you want to do it sort of down the sides. Yeah. I think let's increase it a little bit more. Okay. So essentially, now that all the sugar syrup has been added, we're going to let it run for a good few minutes. And when you touch the side of the bowl, you don't want it to be as hot as it is now. You want it to cool down to kind of just above room temperature. And then we're going to start adding our butter in. If you add your butter too early, it will all melt. Exactly. And you don't want it to melt. Yeah, one at a time. And don't put it in until the next, until it's incorporated. It's a lot of work. It's, a, it's, it's just timing. It's not a lot of work. <laughs> So while your tub is finishing the buttercream, I'm just going to train the sponge. The icing sugar is just to stop the cake from sticking to the um, tea towel when I'm rolling it up. Pop that in. It's quite helpful to have a board to turn it out onto. So I'm just going to turn it over like that. And then just carefully peel the parchment paper off. So now we're just going to roll up the sponge and you do it while it's just only barely warm so it's still quite pliable, not so hot that it's fragile and not so cold that it begins to crack. So I'm just adding the coolie into the buttercream and getting it to turn this beautiful purpley pinkish colour. Okay, so now we can cut the sponge into three equal strips. Yeah, each one is going to be 11 centimetre wide. This is the fun part. Okay. So we just want an even layer of buttercream all over. Mm -hmm. Can I start rolling up, Helen? Rolling up, yeah. So this is really where the magic happens. The three parallel like strips turn into one long mm -hmm. train. One and this is how coil. we get our vertical 
stripe. So I'll just pop that onto the mm -hmm. kickstand. On the kickstand. Okay. That's easier Beautiful to way to there we go. look at that swirl. And now we'll literally, all we need to do is use all that buttercream to finish it off. Yep. All that unsightly join is now going to be covered up. Okay, so the cake has been chilling, so mm -hmm. it's time to finish it off. Yeah, we've got that extra coolie left, and it's really nice to finish with some of the berries that are inside. Oh, yeah. look at that. Yeah, I'm really happy. Really very fun, actually. I'm really happy. It's a fun cake.